Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free, Paris Photo Tutorials with me, Sab Will. Now, I sometimes forget about photographs. I do photo tours and then put them in a, a file and and don't have time to look at them for quite a while. That's what happened recently, and I just I suddenly realised, oh, back in April I did this great tour, just in the Latin Quarter, with a couple of lovely ladies and didn't look at the photographs after and I'm amazed every single time I go out I get new stuff that I really like and I went through this set and I I had time to do 10 photographs which you're gonna see over the next few videos and the last one as well they all came from the same tour and I was amazed at the variety of stuff there is out there to photograph it's really incredible if you keep your eyes open for it um, so let's get down to it here are uh, well, <laughs> this is me uh, taking a photograph in a motorbike's um, uh, rear view mirror. If you have a look behind there, can you see what that is? You see that grey thing there and the, 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 gr the bar going along the edge of another one of those? Well, you might guess it's one of those. Now, anyone who lives in Paris will be familiar with these now. It's the row of Villo. Villo Villib, they call them. Villolib. It means you you sign up for a, a while and you pay something like 30 euros a year and you can stroll up to one of these bike banks, put your card on this thing here and go off with a bike for half an hour and it's free. After half an hour you have to pay. And they give photographers a great opportunity to play with perspective amongst other things. You see the way those those create lines? They're not really lines, they're just thing stuck in the ground but look at the way they co they create these lines going off into the distance anywhere there's a a break uh, in in the in the uh, line for example there it goes that way and then suddenly it goes that way that creates a line and if you've got a whole load of them in a row it creates a new line which doesn't actually exist which leads into the photograph there's another one look these are all in a row and the edge of these plus the way they go down like that each one going you go along there, each one going down creates a line which leads to the tip of the next one. Uh, hey presto, you've got a line going into the distance. Same there, same there with the color changing colour, changing tone as well, it's probably the same colour, but look. Look at the way that's light, that's dark. That that gives you a, a line there. And the saddles as well, although they're slightly a, a bit more haphazard. <coughs> well that wasn't uh, the one I went for, <coughs> because that's all well and good but there's also the wheels and the wheels can lead themselves to wonderful possibilities have a look at this right so that was the original again I eliminated all the rest so left myself with the choice between this and this you probably know which I went for I went for the wheels because this one I felt wasn't strong enough I didn't spend enough time I could have done but I didn't spend enough time getting a strong enough photograph there's no there's no focus area really it's interesting but there's nothing that really stands out hits you in the face I mean there's this pedal but that's not really enough so have a look at this then we're looking a bit at a bit more interesting photo um, now I have framed it as carefully as I could this is the original and you'll see one of the principles that I very much stick to is make the absolutely best photograph you possibly can before you click the shutter because otherwise you're not really a photographer you're just someone who's playing around with special effects desperately trying to grab something out of something which isn't as good as it should have been imagine when you take your photographs there aren't any special effects after you might be able to lighten it up or so on but but you know you can't do this contrast stuff nothing uh, in, and in particular the composition pretend when you're taking the shot you haven't got a second chance or if you like do what we used to do before we had digital and that is shoot a little bit larger take a bit more than you actually want and then you can crop because in the old days you could crop as well even if it was as basic as taking a pair of scissors and hacking off the edges so that's that's fair enough but try not to do that so look what I've done here this was handheld um, and you see coming down here I've just 
touch the edge of the white bit, not this black line here, but just the white bit, and exactly the same here. Okay, uh, I've also I've um, put this towards the bottom. Well, I mean, the way it turns out is that because this is at the bottom, it's slightly off to the left. This is on the right, it's slightly below the middle. Because, why? Because I wanted to put this not dead center, because I wanted to have a bit of Paris flavor. Because otherwise, if you... My, my speciality is Paris, and... Hey, did you know? My speciality is Paris. And I do like to have a bit of Paris in as many shots as possible. When you're taking a picture of a bike, well, let's face it, folks, there's bikes all over the world. You may or may not know that this is the Paris free bike system. But what about if you don't know? Well, let's give people a little hint. And there's a typical facade of a friend of a Parisian building. You see with those lines going across and so on. A bit of greenery. There's even someone in the background uh, who looks like they've got a bike. That I uh, can't, can't really say that was on purpose and I don't particularly know if that helps, but it's a human element and it echoes the bike theme. Anyway, the point is an amazing uh, possibility for having a lovely perspective. Look, you're drawn into that, that spiral. Look at, and look at the way it spirals. I haven't... If I'd crouched down more, I could have had these circles more concentric. In other words, this circle could have been much more uh, equally spaced and you'd be looking into a tunnel. Whereas, because I'm slightly higher than the centre of this first wheel, that means that you have an effect of going going down into the tunnel as opposed to just straight straight forward into the tunnel and it also gives a very pleasant almost spiraling effect because the distance between this wheel and this wheel here is much less than here and in fact look it gets less and less to almost nothing here S same here the distance between the third wheel and the second it's largest here here it gets tapered off to nothing and again and again and again as you get drawn into this and that gives very much a uh, a spiraling snail effect. Snails also having slight French connotations, if we allow ourselves that artistic interpretation. The best uh, possible, in the best, best possible uh, way, of course. Um, not that they're my favourite food. Anyway, uh, down here on the left, you do have a centre of attention. That's not a particularly stunning one, but it is this middle of the wheel thing here, which is fair enough. And up here, you've got the the red brake light or reflector. So all in all, uh, let's just <laughs> sorry, let me just get on to the uh the final version before I run out of time. There it is. Can't fit it all in. So it goes from this down to this. Uh no point telling you what I've done to it. That's up to you to work out. <laughs> Not too too tricky. Okay, there it is. A pretty pretty good photograph, you know, for for what it was taken on the fly but, but then again why should I why should I be saying that that's how all street photography is done you're not expecting to take the shots you take let me just show you where it was taken here we are in Paris and the Latin Quarter is right here let's zoom in I'm seeing signs for Ile de la Cité Boulevard Saint Michel okay zooming in again zooming in again now this is where a lot of my photo tours take place Fontaine Saint Michel. <laughs> They're even showing the Irish pubs and a creperie. Wow, how about that? I didn't know that they. Uh... Okay, now let's just zoom down to street level to try and show you where this photograph was taken. Right, where are we? Okay, there's a very famous French uh, brasserie called uh, Clément, this one here, Chez Clément. And if we go around to the other side of this, you'll see where it was taken. There's the motorbikes that I took my picture in, do you remember? And if we're lucky, ah, that's interesting, maybe this photograph was taken before they installed the row of bikes, because I can't see it. But any, anyway, it was taken here. Yep, looks like it's not there. Taking along this nice little Parisian square, which is at uh, Saint-Michel. And I've got another shot to show you from there coming up in future videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you again in Paris. Bye-bye.
Le jour et la nuit, je suis gris J'ai compris la douceur de vivre Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre Depuis que je suis à Paris